Leesky. Leesky. Man, you scared me. Ah. Oh, man. So how's everything going? Everybody doing okay? You being good with your goats, huh? I see you found a nice warm bed over there. So guys, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. It is the same night that we brought Leesky out and uh, turned him loose with the goats. This is the first time I've actually come out and checked him and as you can see, he was over there laying in the corner being a good boy, weren't you? Just protecting his goats. So uh, I just wanted to come out and check him before night or bedtime. It's, uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's actually snowing out there. So uh, it looks like they're all getting along. I don't see anybody injured, nothing weird going on. Um, I will tell you when I first, so I could tell that was Leesky laying over there in the corner. I seen his little fur ball and I yelled for him a couple times and he wasn't moving. So you freaked me out. You were just sleeping good in that straw, weren't you? Dreaming of being with your herd that you're finally with. So it is an awesome, awesome feeling guys. Um, I've been super worried about this. You know, it's really stressful. And Rachel said, sometimes you just got to have faith. And that reminded me, yes, we got to put faith in God. So I just prayed about it and prayed about it. And uh, so far, so good. It's working out. So, uh, Leesky, I'm very proud of you, Bubba. I'll bring you a treat in the morning. How about that? I'll, I'll leave you alone so you go get back in your nice warm bed. I know all of them are snuggling. So, uh, I know... Uh, we didn't really show all that in the video, but we put some more straw down and uh, we got some uh, pine shaving material over there. And we actually got a duck house. Let me go show you guys. I want to see if they're in it. Um, we didn't want to put the ducks in here for the purpose of uh, Leesky. He's never been around them and he has been known to get a hold of a chicken or two. Bear with me. I'll turn the light on. But we had to throw together a uh, duck house because whenever we put Leesky over here with the goats, the ducks actually went back over to the pond. But let me show you what we got here. I'm sure I don't see no predator eyes anywhere. Well, they're not in there, so I don't know where they're at. I guess they're still at the pond. It's like I can hear them. I don't know where they're at, but it's out here snowing. And uh, we made a bed for them. As you can see, they got tons of straw in here. They got this little A-frame house, but they're not in here. So, I don't know. Ducks are pretty tough, and I apologize for it being dark. Um, I just want to come out here and uh, kind of vlog this uh, first adventure of Leesky and his goats. And, uh, man, it's bright. And in the morning, we'll come back out and uh, start the video back up. We don't know. So Mojo has been on the front porch, him and the cats, and they absolutely have been having fun in this weather. You love it, don't you? You've been playing with Smeagol and Grace on the front porch. You love this weather? It's snowing, guys. Our first snow of this winter. Yeah, good boy. Good thing you got Polar Bear here. He's made for this. He absolutely loves it. We've Last year we built him a dog house. He wouldn't get in it. He wouldn't go sleep in the barn. He wanted to sleep out on his uh, bed on the front patio. Good boy. No, Grace, but you're sleeping good on Mojo. So it is the next morning, guys. Hey, Smeagol. Here, Mo. Don't want to make you move too much. I know you're nice and cozy in your bed, so I'll put your little treats right there. There you go. You want a piece of this chicken treat? I don't know if you'll eat it or not. We got cat treats in the house. I have to go get some. He might eat it. We're fixing to go do an update on Lee See how everything's going. It's the next morning. We got some snow last night. It is currently 15 degrees. Guess the cat's laughing too. You guys can hear the goats over there crying. They're over there in the barn. I hear y'all. It ain't quite dinner time. It's in the morning. So they've been going back and forth to their hay bale eating it. Of course, uh, we feed them in the evening time so they're used to that. We don't want to overfeed goats because they can get bloat. And right now, <clears throat> you sure don't want to have to deal with any of that type of stuff. So I'm going to go check and see where the ducks are too. And uh, see how Leesky's doing. I've seen some of the goats were out this morning. But I haven't seen Leesky yet. So uh, hopefully everything's still good. Nobody's 
injured um, last night when we were out there. It was kind of a a relief to my eyes, I guess you can say, because I seen them. And uh, well, at first I was kind of upset. I was like, "Oh man, something's wrong with him. They headbutted him or hurt him or something or killed him." He was laying in the corner and wasn't moving. And then when I seen him get up and everything was okay, it was a uh, bit of relief. All right, so we got a little bit of snow coming down. Uh, you can see the ground. I don't see the ducks on the pond. I don't see them on the pond. I hear them. They're over by the barn, I think. We'll take a look here in just a second. Let's check on the goats and leave some there they are. Everybody still okay? Huh? Are you okay? Look, I got you something. I promised you last night. Here, let me get in there. Oh, these little goats were tucked in their bed over there in the little dog houses. Hey, look, there's the chicken in here, and Lacey hasn't eaten it. Are you gonna be good to the poultry? I got your treat. Here, like promised. It's cold, isn't it? You want your treat or you just want hugs? Huh? Don't jump. Here, eat this. Here, I'm gonna put your treats right there. You better get them for the goats, dude. You alright? Hmm? Everything alright? How'd it go last night? Alright, calm down. Let's see. Here, get your treat. Right here. Eat that. That's what you get. That's your prize. You goofball, you're not even gonna eat your treats. So, uh, there's Quack Pack. All right, so they are going in and out of their house. They finally found it, I see. Yep. What, you want a hug? You want a hug? All right, let me get down here and hug you. Liski, I'm so proud of you. I knew you were going to be a good boy. I was just a little bit worried. Oh, you're nice and warm. You must have been sleeping in your straw. Did you snuggle up with any goats last night? <laughs> Did you snuggle up with any goats last night? Oh, you're too big. All right, all right. Let's not get riled up. Let's not get riled up. Tommy, you eating straw? You're supposed to use that for bedding, girl. All right, at least let me walk, buddy. So everybody's just kind of huddled around. You can see we got pine shavings in here spread out. Made a nice little bedding in this corner so they can get up here and lay down and stay dry and warm. And last night I put a bale of alfalfa. I had a square bale of alfalfa I went ahead and put in here. Oh, at least you seen the chicken. You better not get no chickens. Hey, you gotta be a, hey. I know you're a goat guardian, but you gotta guard all our animals, okay? Cats, dogs, chickens, ducks, goats, pigs, everything. So, alfalfa is really high in protein, and uh, right now is an, a really good time to uh, feed it to the livestock. So I went ahead and added a bell over here. I had one left over from last year. Easy. Hey, easy. It's okay to get kisses and hugs from them, but you gotta be easy with them, okay? Yeah, good boy. Go eat your treats for them goats eat them. I see ya! I see ya! Alright. I'll leave you alone again. I gotta get back in the house and drink my coffee. I brought you treats, you better go eat them. I guarantee you the goats will. Go eat your treats. So you see some of them are still kind of uh, kind of standing back. Some of the kids and stuff might not be used to the dog because they are kids. What? What are you giving me that look for? Hmm? What are you giving me that look for? I brought you treats, come on. Look at the quack pack. They got nice straw bedding and they want to lay on the, on the icy ground. <laughs> I guess that's what all them feathers and down is good for, I guess. So I think my camera is getting a little blurry because it's so cold. All right, come on, get these treats. Look right here. There you go. 
Oh, he didn't eat it. All right, I'm going in the house. I'll come back in a little bit and check on you. So there you guys go. Uh, update number two. Next morning it has been about, oh, about 20, no, about 18 hours or so since we put Leeski in with the goats and no casualties, no foul play, nothing weird, no head button going on. Um, the goats respect him, like I said, and I think he respects them because I've noticed several times him kind of bowing down to him and laying down and that's kind of him showing them hey i'm here for you guys now he's just being goofy these dogs absolutely love this cold weather <laughs> i don't know what he's doing scratching his back i guess but mojo loves it least he loves it they're they're made for this type of weather you can see his hair is all bushed out. What are you doing? Stretching, I guess. Nope, oh, he's gonna go do a patrol. Whatever. So uh, I'm gonna go inside, have some breakfast, drink some coffee, and then here in a little bit we'll come back and do an update. And then later in the day we'll do our feeding and stuff. It's not going to warm up much today. We're going to be really cold. Got the wood stove fired up. So I'm just thankful that Leeski is working out with the goats and the herd accepted him. So about two hours later, the sun is uh, finally out. You can see we got some sunshine going on. And I just look out and the goats finally come out. The sun come out, then the goats come out. So they're all exploring this pasture. They haven't been on this pasture since about March or April or earlier this year. And I look out here and at least he's just right in the middle of all of them. We'll look out here and see what they're up to. There's Leesky man. Are you proud? Huh? Are you proud of your your herd? Daisy would be proud of you, you know that. You got some big paws to fill, buddy. You're doing good so far. So you can see, uh, there's the butt goat that was been in here at Leeski. He's uh, smelling around on a girl there. They're all uh, really excited because a lot of these trees in here was full of acorns this year. And... Um, that one little butt goat was the only one in here, so he got that treat all year long, and now <clears throat> there's no way he could have ate all of them. So now all these other goats that are in here, they're getting a lot of these acorns and a lot of the stuff that this goat couldn't eat all by itself. I don't know why. He, he's used to being by himself. You can see he's over here by himself. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, the rest of them are way over there in the, in the pig pens. We don't have hogs right now, so... A lot of the mamas and the kids are separated. You can hear them all yelling for each other. The ponds are somewhat froze over. I've seen some of them drinking out of them all ago. That little kid, I don't know what it's doing. Exploring all on its own, I guess. But there you go, there's another update. <clears throat> I'll continually just kind of Giving you guys, giving you guys updates throughout the day. Um, it's still super cold. I think we're up to 17 degrees. I don't remember what it was earlier when I updated you guys, but all all is well. Uh, look out there, and Leesky was just laying out there in the middle of them, over on that dirt pile. Just he looked like a, a proud dog saying, "This is my herd. I finally got my uh, family back. Family back that he's never been with. He was with those." Uh, big group of butt kids earlier in the year and then we sold all them and we just kept that one in there with him and now he's back with the full herd of goats and uh i think he really likes it you can see he's 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 not uh being super hyper he's being chill with them he's just kind of walking around them while they're eating and grazing and that that's good that's what you want now our next uh job will be finding a female it's hard to see. See, Leesky is right there with the green collar on. He heard those kids hollering, so he's going to check it out. Good boy, Leesky. 
And uh, I'm really shocked because you can see all those little kids running. That is what I was worried about. I was worried about Leesky seeing all the kids playing and uh, running around and I thought that that would entice him because he's still a puppy to chase them and bite them and all that type of stuff doing normal puppy play. But so far, so good. I'm uh, super excited about this and uh, really proud of Leesky. Fast forward like three more hours. It is now feeding time for the goats and they haven't seen me yet. I have a feeling as soon as they see me or hear me, they're gonna start running to the barn. Uh, so let's do a little zoom in. There's Leesky Man playing or chewing on something. And we'll pan over a little bit. You can see the goats are just doing their thing. Leesky's hanging out, being a good boy. So there you go. Good to go. So they're good to go. I'm gonna go grab some food. We'll get them fed and uh, see how everything goes. Um, if you guys remember in the last video, whenever we introduced Leesky to the herd, look, they see me now, they're starting to come. Uh, when we introduced Leesky to the herd, we went ahead and fed the goats first and then fed Leesky. And then after they were all done eating, then we let them in together and they all had their bellies full. So let's grab some food and uh, see how this goes. All right, so first let's feed the goats because uh, uh, if I feed Leesky first, I think the goats will try to eat his food and I don't know how that'll go. So let's feed the goats first. I'll put Leesky's food up here. And as soon as we feed the goats, we'll come out and feed Leesky. I got some eggs in my pocket. Hopefully I can do this without making an omelet. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? All right. Hold on, boy. I'll get your food. Hold on. I just thought of something. The goats just see me with the bucket. And they thought I was going in, so they all ran in the barn. The coast is clear. Let's feed him. How about that? I got something for you. Fresh egg. Fresh egg. Enjoy that. I'm gonna go feed your friends. Okay. So this might work out. Just gotta kinda trick them a little bit. Yeah, he's still eating. Y'all ready? Say hi, YouTube. Alright, here we go. Fill it up, fill it up. It's cold heat. Get your energy. Okay. So this bucket over here. So I want to kind of just do a little bit of an inspection and uh, here he comes. Make sure nobody has any chewed ears or tails or anything weird. Hey, you don't eat goat food. Come on, let's give them the space while they eat. You excited? Hmm? You excited? Don't be, don't be getting crazy. Hey, down. Come on, let's go eat. So guys, I'm kind of just looking around. Leesky, you're gonna get hurt. Leesky, no. No. Good boy. Just kind of looking around, making sure nobody's chewed on or nothing weird. So I see the butt goat that's been with Leesky finally found his way into the barn. He's not used to getting fed in that feeder. So it'll probably take him a little, little time to uh, figure out there's food over there. Make sure they still got hay. They still got hay. They still got hay. Get some kind of spread up here for them. Everybody can get some from the top, the bottom, all over. Are you helping me? Huh? You trying to help me or what? Oh boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. I think you're taller than I am. All right, come on, let's go eat your food. Come on, let's 
Take your food. Tell him, Skeeter, so eat your food. He already ate his eggs. You already ate your eggs. You gonna eat your food? Hmm. You better eat for them goats get it. All right, so I'm gonna let him eat, and uh, we'll see what he does after he eats. Well, I guess he's too excited to eat right now. But uh, so uh, you guys know, I did not put a water heater in their stock tank intentionally, and it was. I was gonna come out earlier and busted it up, and uh, of course I had to bust it up again because it was 17 degrees until about one o'clock. It's currently about four o'clock, and it's finally about 32, 33 degrees. So everything's starting to thaw out a little bit. Luckily, their pond didn't freeze over all the way, so they still have the pond to get a drink from. I don't know how cold it's gonna get tonight. Probably back in the teens. So. I can't put the heater in here because, like I said in the last video, guys, he still loves chewing on stuff and wires and all that, and I don't want to take a chance of uh, him getting electrocuted. So it's just easier for me to come out here and break the ice or refill stuff. He's trying to play with ice cubes right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Playing with ice cubes? What is it, Skeet? What is it? So, Leesky, come here. How's it feel having your family back, Bubba? You are the main protector of this big, giant goat herd. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Hey. How's it feel to be the protector of the whole goat herd? Huh? You gonna eat your eggs? He already ate the egg yolks, you can see. Now he's eating the egg shell. All right, I'm gonna go in here and say hi to your goats before we end the video. How about that? Huh? You wanna go say hi to your goats real quick? All right, we're gonna go back in the barn and check on the goats. Some of them's out here eating hay now. You got the sun's out, that sun come out and warms you up. You're lucky you have dark hair. Mojo's white. You get a little bit warmer than Mr. Mojo, but Mojo has a lot more fur than you. All right, let's, hey, 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 stay calm, stay calm. Did daddy pull your tail? <laughs> Did I pull your tail? And don't get playful. Gotta do, your, gotta take your job serious. Gotta take your job serious. Oh. Hey, serious, let's take our job serious. No games, hey, no, no. Everybody's hanging out over here in the corner. Little Buck, are you glad you got your uh, friends and your family back? Whiskey, be good. I was gonna end the video out here, but you won't quit jumping on me. No jumping. So, uh, for those of you that was wondering about the creep feeder, it is still working out great. You can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six kids in there right now. Whiskey tried to give Elle a kiss. I think you're just excited to be with all these goats, because that's your job. I don't think you can fit in there, so don't you even try. Don't even try to get your big head in there. I don't know if I can get you out. So they're in here munching away. The kids are growing quite nicely now. Um, this creek feeder is definitely working out great. It allows these younger kids to get in there and get all the food they want. And it keeps out about 90% of the bigger ones. There's still a few goats that's kind of young that can actually still get in there, but that's okay because they need to eat. They need to eat a little more to catch up with some of the older, bigger adults. So and you got some kids over here tap dancing. Y'all dancing or what? Oh, 
home for the mama. Where did Lisa go? Are them goats, are them goats dancing? Huh? Are they dancing? Yeah, good boy. All right, so some of the goats are coming back out here in the sun. Oh, I wanted to see where the ducks were real quick. Let's see. Of course, it's a little too sunny and I can't see. I think they were they were on the pond when I come out here, but I can't see them from here. So we'll go out here and see if we can't see them. Elle, what do you think about Leesky? You got any words? No comment? There's the ducks! Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Y'all's bills are wet. You must have just got off the pond, like I said. They're talking to me. I gotta get you guys some food, so hold tight. I said, did you say food? Okay. So they got a nice, warm, dry place to get in here now. Uh, it's, it's pushed up against the wall of the barn, and then I loaded it with a bell of straw. So they'll stay nice and warm if they want to. They might choose to sleep out here on the ground. Ducks are kind of silly, so you don't really know. Oh, I stepped on your foot, didn't I? You ready to end this video? All right. Urgh. I'll end the video with some doggy kisses. How about that? Mwah. Mwah. He likes it. All right, guys, so if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you can uh, further follow the adventures of Mr. Leesky to see how he turns out as a uh, livestock guardian dog. So far, he gets a uh, thumbs up, radial of improving from Hidden Heights Farm. He's doing great. No paws in my face. She's going to get me dirty. Hey, no thanks. <laughs> oh, man, Leesky. So guys, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Leesky says thank you. He's super excited to be with his uh, herd of goats now. He's been doing wonderful. I've been coming out here and doing checks and trying to get, keep you guys updated with everything. And uh, for the first week or, week or so, uh, we're gonna have our eyes. We're gonna have our eyes heavily uh, upon Leesky, making sure that he's not getting too rambunctious, too hyper with these kid goats or anything like that. I think he's doing a good job, and he really is acting uh, like he's super excited to get to guard this herd of goats. So leave a comment down below. Tell me how you think Leesky's doing, and uh, if you guys are proud like I am, I know uh, Rachel's super proud of him. He's going to lay down now and get his belly scratched. Leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Good boy.